He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. was funny you guys anywho hey welcome back to my channel I, I wanted to give you guys a cute little intro for this Valentine's Day perfume video you know Valentine's Day they make it all about the lovers and that's cute and dandy for my girls that you know have someone in their life and you know you want to celebrate but a lot of us we gonna be spending Valentine's Day with our friends our family or just by ourselves and let me tell y'all that is just fine or with God okay um so even if you spend a day alone and you want to go and get yourself a massage or you just want to journal take a nice long bath or just go out to eat take yourself out to eat or like I said go with friends and family I have the perfect romantic lovey-dovey scents that I think that you girls will really enjoy and that your loved ones and your boo will enjoy smelling on you, okay? Now go ahead and get y'all popcorn, okay? Because I do have a lot of perfumes here that I'm going to be um, sharing with you guys as well as two new perfumes that I picked up that are really popular that I thought would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So I do have this categorized, okay? So I have about one, two, three, four different categories. So for my girls that want to, you know, smell like that rich girl, that girl that just has herself together, that is just like on point. As soon as she walks in the room, she's turning heads. People are taking her seriously, but you still smell amazing. I have some perfumes for y'all girls. And then um, I also have some perfumes for the girl that just wants to feel pretty and you wanna just turn heads, but people are like crushing on you and just like, ooh, who is that? And you just smell very gorgeous because you feel, you look gorgeous, you feel gorgeous, and you also wanna smell gorgeous. I have some scents for my girls and these are sweet scents as well. And then what do we have here? Then for my girls that are just classic Valentine's Day, you love the whole theme of Valentine's Day as far as like roses and the flowers. I have two rose scented perfumes. I have a gourmand one and then just a regular rose, like strong rose scented one that I know that you will love for my girlies that just love that classic V-Day scents, classic V-Day scents. And then I also have for my inexpensive girls because I must admit, some of these perfumes are a little pricey, but I'm gonna be showing you guys a mix, so it's not all higher-end perfumes, okay? So I do have some body mist here um, that will be great, that are long-lasting, that you can also wear for my girls that just don't wanna be spending that much money on their smell goods. So everybody can find themselves a nice perfume from this list. I even have some body creams here, you guys, um, that would be great. So anyway, let's jump into it. Like I said, grab your popcorn because y'all know me, this video will probably be about 40 minutes. Um, so we're gonna all go ahead and jump into for the girls that just wanna smell like that rich girl, that girl that has herself together, you wanna be taken seriously, but you also wanna smell good as well. And I must say these are great dinner date perfumes, evening perfumes that I have been using and wearing for years. And I just smell great and I um, feel confident when I wear these perfumes, okay? So the first one, you guys, this perfume was just raved about a few years ago and i know that zara still sells it and this is probably one this perfume actually shocked me from zara's because it is so long lasting it just has this really unique scent i really feel like this is a unisex perfume but if you smelled this before you already know and that is ebony wood let me tell y'all this just smells amazing it has this like 
I'm just that girl. I'm that girl. Um, I, it, it screams rich, and y'all know Zara's perfumes are not that expensive, but this one, it is super long lasting. And I know at one point I was overdoing this perfume because I was literally wearing this every time we would go out to dinner because it's just, uh, it's just this rich scent. Mm, 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 mm. And I don't know why I haven't been wearing this because I had to dig this out um, from the back of my collection. But yeah, this just gives everything, you guys. So yeah, if you have not tried out Ebony Wood, definitely, but you are definitely going to give them rich vibes with this one. Okay, and I'm going to kind of go quickly because we really have a lot of perfumes. I know sometimes I can talk, 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 but I really want to get through these perfumes. And y'all know my camera loves to overheat. So the next perfume, um, I wanted to get these when I initially bought them in a travel size because um, I do love MFK. And y'all know MFK is known for Baccarat, but I wanted to try something else, but I was blind buying online and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money if I didn't like it. This perfume, and like I said, is by MFK and it is their Oud Satin Mood. And if I can find the travel set, like how I bought these, I will make sure to link them below. It comes with like three or four and you guys, I've had these for years and I'm literally like down to two and I was using this constantly and still had a bunch of these left. So yeah, this one, again, another rich girl vibe. It smells really good. If you're into Oud scents, you will really like this one. Um, this is definitely an evening perfume and Ugh, I have to spray you guys because it's been so long since I used it. Your girl don't be going out in the evenings like I used to. So I rarely wear this one. But yeah, oh, this one smells so good, you guys. It's just this very unique. It, the dry down is like a powdery, but it has something else in this. I'm going to have to leave the notes on this one. But this one, oh, it just smells so, so, so good. It has this sweet powdery dry down, but then there's like a scent of something else that's unique about this perfume. And yeah, this is a classic. Definitely um, check out Sat Oud Satin Mood. The next one is definitely a classic. You girlies have probably all smelt this scent and that is Chanel Chance. Chance Chanel. And again, <laughs> you will know that I am a fan of um, travel sizes just because they're more, they're inexpensive. And literally I don't use the same perfume constantly. I'm always switching out perfumes. So to buy a really expensive big bottle is just going to sit there. And you guys know after so long, the perfume will start to smell a little different especially if the temperature is changing wherever you're storing your perfumes so i just like to invest in these travel sizes and if it's just something that i adore then i'll go ahead and invest in the larger bottle but yes i bought this again years ago i love this little travel size bottle and you literally can um I don't even know if I remember how to do this, but somehow you unscrew this when you're done with the with the bottle in here and then you just drop in your other one. But yeah, Chance by Chanel is just one of those really, now if you're a strong, y'all know Chanel perfumes um, can be really strong. So if you are not a strong gal, you will not like Chance by Chanel because this stuff, you spray on a little and literally a day later, you're gonna smell like this. And I'm just gonna spray a little on my wrist. Woo, this stuff is very spicy. If you are a girl that is not into the sweet scent and you more, you're more into that spicy um, scented perfume, you will love Chance by Chanel. It just, but it does dry down and it becomes slightly a more sweeter scent. But yeah, this is like, yeah, you, you, <laughs> it's strong, I can give you that, but it does have a nice scent. But again, this is one of those rich girl vibes, take me seriously, but I still wanna smell good, okay? And this is again, another evening scent. Next one, you guys already know that this definitely had to be called out. And this is one of those perfumes where everyone is like, you smell like money. You smell like money when you wear it. And that is MFK Baccarat Rouge. And as you can see, I've had this bottle forever, y'all, and still have a bunch left. But yeah, 
Um, Baccarat Rouge is gonna forever be that scent. This is again, another unisex scent. And it's gonna be one of those scents where you just really just smell like money. You just smell fresh, you smell clean, and you smell like you got yourself together. But it's a great scent. You could wear this in the um, daytime, in the evening time, it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is one of those classic, like when you want, when you're going out on a dinner date and um, or just brunch, and it's like a more fancier vibe. Baccarat is always going to be that girl um, that you want to wear for those occasions. So yeah, as you can see, I don't wear this a lot because this is like I'm going, I I'm living that rich life, okay? Like the rich life vibes, that's what you're going to get from Baccarat Rouge, okay? Last one, you guys, that I'm going to share. This one I, I have played out, and I'm not even sure if Chanel sells this one anymore, but it's Coco Noir and it came in this special edition black bottle. And you guys, this is again, Chanel is just like, when you enter the room, everyone's gonna smell you and know that you mean business. And this is definitely one of those scents. Um, I would highly recommend that you only wear this scent during the evening time, because this is a strong scent, but it's still like that classic Chanel scent that you can't go wrong with, but this is like, I'm here for business for sure. So I'm just gonna spray a little, you guys, because it's been so long since I've wore this perfume. Ooh, that one is strong, you guys. Oh my gosh. Woo, that one is super strong. So yeah, if you're one of those girls that wanna walk in a room and you just blast everyone out, but in a good way, and it's like, okay, this girl got money, she got herself together. Definitely try Coco Nor Chanel. If they still sell this, you guys, I'll leave it here too. So you guys are not searching below, but if they still sell it, I will link this below because I remember at one point, this is all I was wearing in the evening time. And this, I got this years ago, you guys, but this, I think they they still sell Coco Nor. It was just the bottle. Um, this black bottle that was limited edition. So, and I got this as a gift, but yeah, this is screaming, I'm that girl, I'm that chick. So yeah, definitely that was the last one out of the rich girl business vibes um, collection. But yeah, those scents are like, I'm here, you know, we're having a good time, but I still got myself together. Those are, that's that vibe. Okay, so for my girl, girlies, like I said, that like that classic Valentine's Day theme, all about the roses. As y'all can see, I got my red roses in the back. You just love Valentine's Day and all the love vibes, and you're definitely going to love this Zara perfume. And I believe that I mentioned this to you guys in a video, but this one is true amour, and this one is just like a straight um, bouquet of roses. Ugh. Mm -mm -mm. It's just this very pretty um, red roses scent. So if you are just that girl that just wants to smell like red roses, make sure you get True Amore. I know I sprayed this in Zara's and we were just, me and my cousin and aunt were raving about this. And then everybody gathered around, a bunch of other girls, and they're like, yeah, this smells amazing. And this is also, you guys, a dupe for Dal Dahlia, I believe it's called. Um, yeah, uh, I'll leave the bottle here. The pink bottle, this is the dupe for that because if you don't know, Zara is into making dupes of more higher end perfumes. So True Amour is the dupe for Dahlia, and this smells just like red roses, you guys. Now, another one from Zara's, and it's their Rose Gourmand. So this one, it smells like roses, but you're also getting that gourmand scent. So this is a very sweet scent uh, for my girls that are into the gourmands, but you love a nice classic rose scent. This is gonna be your girl. But yeah, what I really love about Zara perfumes is that they last long, they're inexpensive, they have different sizes if you wanna get the larger bottle or a smaller bottle. And yeah, they're great. I would highly recommend this one and the other one, the True Amour from Zara's great perfumes. Now we move on to my girlies that just wanna smell pretty. And you know, these are um, very um, scents that are pronounced. 
that you can really smell, but they just have a very pretty scent. And so, you know, you're wearing a cute dress, you're wearing a cute outfit, you done beat your face, and you just want that pretty scent to finish everything off. You're definitely going to love these. So two of the perfumes I'm gonna show you guys, I just recently, um, reviewed in the um, Arabian perfume collection that I blind bought and these are just my favorite. I'm smelling these every day and I'm just so impressed with the scent and how long how long lasting that they are. And the first one is um, Fakar Latafa, La La y'all know. I'm probably not saying that right, but this is the bottle. You guys have probably seen this all over TikTok. And this is for my girlies that love a good jasmine scent. This is very prominent of jasmine. You can smell it right off the bat. You can smell it during the dry down. And this is just a beautiful scent, you guys. And I just can't get over this bottle and this, basically cost me under $50, I can't remember, but it's worth every penny. It's a very, very um, pretty scent, it's long lasting, and yeah, this is just perfect for Valentine's Day, so make sure you check this one out. And then the other one um, that's an Arabian scent is called Yara Latafa Moy, and um, I believe that's how you say it again. This one, ugh. I just can't get over these two perfumes. They are just amazing. They smell really expensive, something you would smell in Saks Fifth, Neiman Marcus, any high-end department store, perfume store. These are that girl and they just smell so pretty. You're gonna be confident and you're just gonna feel pretty wearing these. So definitely um, don't sleep on Arabian perfumes because I'm like, now I'm hyped and I'm ready to get into buying more of these perfumes because you really get a, a bang for your buck. Now, sometimes if you blind buying, you may, you know, be upset because I bought a lot and there was like four of them that I did not like. But these two is hit. Okay, so the next one, y'all already know I'm gonna run this perfume to the ground until every one of y'all have bought this perfume and it's in your collection, okay? And that is Prada Paradox. This perfume, oh, I can't say enough good things about it. This smells so pretty. It just has a classic scent and I really have not heard anybody say any negative things about this perfume. So yeah, if you just want that classic pretty girl scent, pick up Prada Paradox and y'all know, any video I do about perfume, I'm gonna feature Prada Paradox, love it. And then the next one is actually another Arabian perfume, but I could only get the roll-on perfume when I ordered this. Um, and that is the Yara um, by Latafa. Yara by Latafa, and it's the pink bottle. So literally it's this bottle, but it's pink. And this one, you guys, if you wanna smell like a thing of a bowl of strawberries with whipped cream, with vanilla undertones, this is going to be your girl. This just has a very pretty, pretty gourmand scent. I know I'm just putting it where I spray other perfume, but this, oh, this just smells so good, you guys. It just, Oh, it just smells so gourmandy, strawberry, vanilla-y, vanilla -y, <laughs> vanilla -y. everything you can imagine when it comes to just a sweet, pretty gourmand scent. So I would highly recommend that you get this if you just want that pretty girl vibe going. And then the next one, you guys, this one, I gotta get the dust off of it because I ain't used this in forever. Um, Another perfume that I don't understand why I don't wear it as much because it's a very pretty scent and that is Montel Paris Dark Purple. You guys have probably seen this bottle cause they have all, they have a gold one, they have like a red one. I mean, this brand has a whole collection and all the bottles look like this. And this one in particular I found on Pinterest and um, it's lovely, it's a very sweet scent. So this is for my girls that like pretty sweet scents. This is that girl, um, this smells amazing. I gotta smell it, you guys. Ooh, look at that. The dang cap came off and smells again so I could, let's see. Yeah, mmm, you know what? This one is 
this one is almost giving like a rosy type scent as well. It's almost reminding me of the Rose Gourmand by Zara's. So this smells amazing. Love it, very sweet scent, very pretty. Definitely the perfect Valentine's Day scent. Mm, and I can, <laughs> I can definitely smell roses in here. So I'm gonna have to look at the notes and let you guys know if that's what I'm really smelling. But yeah, and it's plummy. There's like a plummy rose sweet scent to it and love this one as well. And then this other one, I literally have about this much left in this travel size, but I grew up wearing this perfume. This is a classic perfume that to, they, um, they, they, they curated this perfume years ago when I probably was in ninth grade and this perfume has stood the test of time people are still wearing it generation after generation this is a very pretty classic scent and that is um flower bomb and as y'all can see i just have a little left but this is one of those pretty scents um it says flower bomb on here but to me i don't really i mean it's a floral scent obviously but it's not too floral it's a sweet scent, it's a pretty scent, and yeah, you gotta try it if you have not tried Flower Bomb, but the perfect, this is one of those perfect Valentine's Day scents where you know your boo or whoever is gonna be smelling and smelling you and loving that scent. It's not overpowering, it's just the right amount of sweetness and just everything. So yeah, Flower Bomb, you gotta try that out, and y'all know I'm about to spray it. Yeah, woo, love it. That Montel Paris that I showed you guys, the dark purple one, please get this. This is just such a pretty scent. But anyway, okay, so now we're gonna go to my girls that don't wanna spend a lot of money. These are long lasting um, body mists that are really, really good. I'm definitely gonna be sharing with you guys some body mists that I always <laughs> share with you guys, but they have to be mentioned because they're really pretty scents and they are perfect for Valentine's Day. The first one y'all already know is Sol de Janeiro's Chedoza. I'm <laughs> probably saying that wrong, number 40. This has um, black amber plum and vanilla woods in it. And this just smells so yummy, yummy, yummy. If you wanna smell yummy, yummy, definitely use this one. Um, again, you can pair this with the Rose Gourmand um, Zara perfume. And you can also pair this one with like the Ebony Wood. Again, this is just a really good layer and body mist or you could wear it on its own. I would definitely recommend you put on like a plain or lightly scented or a sweeter scented body oil and then this um, so that it lasts long throughout the day or night. And then one that I just started giving props to, but that is another good Sol de Janeiro long lasting body mist is After Hours. I'm not too sure ladies, if you can get this online still or in, um, in Sephora or on their website, but this one is great too. It has Midnight Jasmine and Amber Woods, and this smells like a straight perfume. This is again, another one that you can layer with um, any of your other sweeter perfumes, and this is that girl. Um, another one that I, I don't think I shared this with you guys, or it, it probably was a long time ago, and I smelled it the other day, and I'm like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been wearing this? Number one, if you love Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, this is actually a better version of um, Lost Cherry. It's stronger, and it smells just like a perfume, and this was probably my only one that I liked by this brand in Target, Finery, and this is not another cherry, so they pretty much are giving you a hint with the name that this is um, a dupe for Lost Cherry, but this smells really good, it's really strong, Strong. And if you love that earthy but sweet ch um, cherry scent, you're gonna love this one. And then of course, one that is really, this is just straight sweet cherry is by Bath and Body Works. And this is their Sweetheart Cherry and this smells good too, but this is not gonna give you that lost cherry like earthy vibe. This is more just a straight sweet scent. But again, this is another good one to layer with like the, um, Sol de Janeiro number 40 or the Prada Paradox. Um, and if this one you could just wear by itself and this will probably last long, but if you do have Lost Cherry, 
You can double layer with this or any of your other like, let me spray this y'all. Yeah, this, <laughs> you, it, come on, I'm trying to save y'all a coin. Don't go and spend, y'all know Tom Ford, that all their perfumes are like, what, $300, $400? Th this is La Cherry right here. <laughs> so definitely check this out. This is a great, another great V-Day scent as well. Um, and then another Bath & Body Works scent that I love personally, love the way it smells on me, and that's Dahlia. And this one, I believe, is one of their newer scents, if I'm not mistaken and this just smells so good this is another good one to layer with your sweeter perfumes oh you're like gourmand perfumes because this one has praline musk pear and whipped tonka bean and this just smells lovely this is a great valentine's day scent and definitely you can layer this one. Um, a lot of these um, body mists that I'm showing, sharing with you guys, these can be layered easily. Like I hate having to try to figure out different combinations. So what I like to do is I'll look at a, um, I'll look at the notes. Like this one says praline musk and whipped tonka bean. So I already know that this will pair good with my sweeter scented. Um, perfumes so like this one i would definitely pair with prada paradox or i would definitely pair with that montel paris and it's like you don't have to think about it you i just know that it's gonna smell amazing together now uh, the last body mist that i have is another one by bath and body works and this one is strong you guys this is pretty much perfume and um, a body mist bottle, and that is in the stars. And this is just that classic perfumey scent, and it just smells beautiful. I also have this in the body wash. Ooh, and it just smells great, you guys. This is another pretty one. And then the fragrance notes on this one is Sugar Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant Amber. And yeah, this is that girl as well. I'm trying to figure out what you could, I don't want to say Prada Paradox, even though I do want to say Prada Paradox. You could probably pair this with, mm, you know what you could pair this one with? You could pair this one with like, um, with this one, the Fakar Latafa, these two would go great together. Now, you could pair these two together as well. The In The Stars with the Yara Moy Latafa. These will go good together. So yeah, definitely those body mists are strong and powerful. You can layer those or you can wear them by themselves. And then I also have you guys some, um, I also have some, body lotions because these right here are perfumed out the game. I got two that are a little more pricey and one that is not um, pricey at all. So I have options for you girlies. This first one is um, Coco Chanel Cream. This is a classic. I've had it forever and it's lasted me a long time. I would highly recommend that you invest in perfumed body creams because these are amazing to layer. So like if you bought the Coco Chanel and then you had this, oh my gosh, you're gonna blow them out the water <laughs> on how good you smell. And we all know Coco Chanel is just that classic, that girl, that rich vibe scent. And I love it. And I also love to layer this with the MFK um, Oud Satin Mood. They go amazing together. And oh, it just, we, we y'all all know, if you don't know how Chanel, Coco Chanel smells, definitely go and smell it. It's just that classic, just I'm that, that girl with money in the bank. And if I don't have money in the bank, I smell like it. So this is another great rich, and to me, you can pair this with the MFK Baccarat. You can pair this with all of your rich girly perfumes. And then this, uh, So I'm just recording and it don't mean nothing. <laughs> okay, um, the next perfume 
or body cream perfume that just screams like pretty girl rich vibes is by bond number nine and it is the madison avenue and you guys i fell in love with bond number nine i have to admit that i am late to the party i did not discover bond number nine until probably about a little over a year ago and i was just in love with this madison avenue i have not used a lot of this but it just smells, oh, this smells so good. I don't know why I don't use this like I should because it's definitely that girl. This just smells so good. If you guys have not tried any of the Bond Number no. 9, smell any of the Bond Number no. 9 perfumes, go to your local, like I think Nordstrom's, I don't know if Nordstrom sells it, but I know Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth, Fifth, they sell Bond Number no. 9, and this is just super pretty and it's called 24 7 new york body silk sensuous skin protection from the city that never sleeps i know a lot of girls have literally all of the bond number no. nine perfumes and girl how are you doing it because bond number no. nine is pricey that's why i i actually was gifted this for my mom i bought her the perfume and she bought me the body cream because y'all, I think bond number nine, each one is like three something, 400, and they have limited bottles and everything. But bond number nine is that girl, they have an array of scents and they're just, the bottles are pretty. They're just amazing to put on display. But yeah, this Madison Avenue is definitely a great body cream to layer with. It's sweet scented, but it just has that rich, but it just has that but it just has that rich girl vibe to it, okay? Now the next body cream that I have is not that it's not pricey at all. It's a Bath and Body Works cream. It has shimmer in it because you guys, when I'm like on a date or I'm just like having a nice dinner with my boo, or even if I'm just at a nice dinner or whatever, outing with my friends, I just like to look a certain way, feel a certain way. So I love using body creams that have like glitter um, in them, not too much. And this one is the perfect one by Bath and Body Works. And if you guys don't know, this scent is called You're the One. And this is, per I mean, listen to the name, You're the One. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. It has that pretty rosy scent to it. And this is great. This one would be super great to pair with the True Amour, the Zara perfume. And this just smells great. And the glitter, oh, the glitter in here, you guys, is just enough. Let me see if I can show y'all because every time I try to show on camera, it just never works out. But yes, if you guys could see the glitter is just so pretty. It just gives you this sensual, like really pretty shimmer to it. And the notes on here. Okay, yeah, perfect. The notes are white birch, velvety rose, and a drop of strawberry nectar. Oh my gosh, you can smell the strawberry and the roses. So this one is perfect for Valentine's Day and I just love it. Like this pretty glitter shimmer is everything, especially if you're wearing a top like this or you're wearing a pretty dress that shows, you know, the chest area. You definitely wanna make sure that you have some kind of glimmer and glitter going. And all of, I think Bath & Body Works, they have a bunch of different of their scents with the glitter in them. But yeah, this is just everything. One thing I did not want to leave out, girlies, is the hair perfume. Y'all know I'm always talking about hair perfume, but this one I love by Byredo. All of Byredo scents are amazing. I got mine from Nordstrom's, and this scent in particular by Byredo is Baldi F Freak. And you guys, having your perfume on your body, your clothes is great, but what about your hair? You know, a lot of us use a lot of heat tools, so our hair is smelling like a barbecue. <laughs> and and you know, you need something to refresh your hair. Like me, I have a lot of hair on my head and it's going to like hold a scent. So I have to have a hair perfume. I don't leave the house. After I have did all of my perfume and my things on my body, I need a hair perfume and this is the perfect one. You don't wanna be spraying perfume in your hair 
that's not a hair perfume because you're gonna dry out your hair and break it off with the alcohol. So I specifically use a hair perfume. Another good one is this number 40 by Sol de Janeiro. All of their um, bigger scents like this because normally they'll say hair and body fragrance mist, but I don't even trust this really in my hair because hair and body, I don't know if it's really for your hair, but these, these actually say hair perfume. So I definitely love this one. Um, there's one by Jisoo, Gisoo, um, that's a honey hair perfume that's really good. And yeah, I'm not leaving the house, you know, feeling like that chick without my hair. <sighs> there I go again. <laughs> I'm not leaving the house without my hair perfume. So yeah, definitely make sure that you have your hair perfume going, okay? So that was the third time I had to have my camera um, cool down. Um, so now that we went over my recommendations, I have two new perfumes here that I think will be perfect. Now these are blind buys, so I literally just went off of the names and the popularity of them. Um, so yeah, and of course, y'all know me, I got them in travel sizes just in case I do not agree with the majority. So the first one actually came in a set um, and it is by Kayali and Sephora currently is selling this set and it's called Sparkling Kiss. That is the reason why I got this because I thought this would be perfect for Valentine's Day. It comes with a liquid matte lipstick, which I am very excited to use because I have a bunch of glossy lipsticks and I'm like, where's all my matte stuff? So it comes with that and the color is Gossip Girl and then it comes with the Eden Sparkling Le Lychee Perfume. And it looks like that and it is $39. And this is what you get. So I thought this would be super cute um, for a little Valentine's Day date. You can throw this in your bag. The bottle is small enough to put in your purse and just touch up as needed. So let's go ahead first of all and get into the notes of this if I can. Okay, so the key notes are black currant, sparkling li li lychee, um, rose damascena, so I feel like this is perfect for V-Day, candy violet, sugared amber, and sandalwood. And this is the sparkling lychee, like I said, 39. So let's go ahead and smell this, y'all. And I just sprayed up every part of me. Let's see. Um, yeah, we can spray here, let's see. Ooh, oh, <laughs> whoa, this, oh my gosh. <laughs> I am so excited right now. This smells so good and it's very unique, ladies. Oh, oh yeah. Please get this one. Oh, this smells so good. It's like a very candied scent. Yep, candy violet. Oh my gosh. And then that sugared amber, you're really getting that sugared amber and then that black currant. That smells amazing. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, if you are a sweet girl, and you like that candied scent. This smells like straight sugar candy, but it's like a unique, like that black currant I'm picking up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm definitely getting this in the big bottle. That just shocked me right there. And then again, you get this liquid matte lipstick. And this is the color, you guys. One of my favorite type of colors. I love these plummy type colors and your girl has been needing a matte scent, so this is like the perfect Valentine's Day little set right here. But that perfume, you guys, let me know if you had that or you smelled it in your thoughts, because that, oh my gosh. Oh, and you already know that that would be perfect with this number 40. It's giving me those vibes. Okay, so the next perfume that I got, this is supposed to be Rihanna's favorite perfume. Um, I got the small size because this is pricey and again, blind buying, I don't care if it's Beyonce or whoever's favorite perfume, I need to smell it and know that I like it and that it goes with my body chemistry. And this perfume is by um, Killian. 
and this is called love. This, let me make sure, is this called just love or love? I think it's called love. It says love by Killian, don't be shy. So I did get the travel size in this. I'm just a travel size perfume buying girl, okay? Now, let's see. And they say Rihanna supposedly wears this scent every day. So this is how the bottle looks. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get into the smell of this. I'm trying to find y'all somewhere that I didn't spray perfume. Okay, right here. Let's see. See? This is why I get the travel sizes. It smells good, but it smells like something else. Um, it doesn't have a unique smell to me or scent to me at all. Let me pull up the notes on this one. I mean, it smells good, but it's not... It's not what everybody was saying in the reviews that you just have to have this scent. This is why I get travel sizes. So let's see, love. So the notes are orange blossom, which I don't quite smell, neroli and marshmallow. It says narcotics from rose to tuberose, and that's probably why, because I hear that you have to like tuberose, and maybe that's what I'm smelling and not really keen to. It says from orange blossom to gardenia, Killian flowers are composed like a narcotic dependent. So you're supposed to be like um, addicted to this scent. It says first love's innocent. Innocence makes itself known with juicy hun honeysuckle and plush rose softly caressed by the sweetness of luscious marshmallow sugar accord. So this is a sweet scent. Satisfying craving pain of new love. A warm amber base lends a pulsing touch of sensuality, hinting the possibility of soon knowing another soul inside and out. So this is definitely giving V-Day love vibes, but I don't know, you guys. I gotta put this on my skin and see how I'm feeling it then when it, you know, if it's gonna make, you know, if my body chemistry is gonna flow with it, but first impressions it's like okay but <laughs> this kaoli um sparkling leche leche yeah this is that girl yeah go ahead and pick that up and you get a lipstick too so yes guys that is everything that is all of my recommendations for v day not only v day but you can wear these perfumes when you're just vibing you want that rich girl vibe that pretty girl vibe you want um that um classic valentine's day vibe or you just want a nice body mist that is like a perfume these definitely are great recommendations in my opinion and then we have the body creams and again like i mentioned if you do not have one of bath and body work shimmering body creams you are missing out it just makes your skin so pretty with the shimmers and it's definitely a great evening vibey type body cream so yeah or if you're going to like a day concert or whatever i just think that it looks so pretty on the skin okay as we close out this video you know i'm going to bring a word of encouragement as the spirit just downloads it into me and i think today i want to share with you guys esther 414 and as always i'm going to pull it up on my phone because i don't want to mess up anything in this chapter and in, in this verse so again it's esther chapter 4 verse 14 and it says for if you remain silent at this time relief and deliverance for the jews will arise from another place but you and your father's family will perish and who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this and I constantly think about that verse over and over in my head, like, what does that mean? Basically, when you find yourself in a position or in a place where you're like, God, why am I here? Whether that be a job, whether that be, you know, a situation with your family, just a difficult situation where there's adversity. I'm learning when you are in these situations, instead of it, instead of looking at it in a negative way, or feeling overwhelmed, look at it like this could be your time, like a, such a, as in the Esther scripture. You never know 
if God puts you in this situation for a time such as this. So you have to look at it like, how can I be of service to, to people right now? What can I do to change this environment, to bring God into this environment? How can I be of service? So I'm finding myself thinking in that way when I'm in certain situations, whether that be with work or just personal, instead of being down and out, you know, because we all experience that in the environments that we're in. Think of it as why does God have me here? What is the, the purpose? What is my purpose in this time of being here? And what can I do to change this environment so that it's God like to, so that the Holy Spirit is there and that we can change whatever negativity that is around? So I hope that makes sense to you guys. I just feel like that is something that has been in my spirit, you know, with any struggles or trying to figure out why am I here? What, think of your purpose. Think of what you can do to change whatever the adversity is. What can you do? And I always say, read your Bible, pray to God, and he will definitely show you what your purpose is, okay? So with that being said, if you are new here, welcome to the BJD Gang Gang. Definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I welcome you. I love all my new subscribers. I want to say what's up to you guys. I appreciate the love and the engagement. You don't know how much I appreciate that and how that helps my channel. And again, you guys, I just say I love you all. I'm always praying for you all. And yeah, you know, as usual, my favorite saying, I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.